guys, it's uh, Sven on the SRS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at this uh, Disney Zootopia figure uh, It's uh, a pretty unusual figure for me to get but uh, how could I resist that character? <laughs> uh, it's made by Kaiyoro it's a part of the Figure Complex movie Revo series, powered by Revoltech. It's the movie Revo series number 008 or 008, depending on if you're American or British. It's the Judy Hopps figure from the Disney Zootopia. Uh, animated movie and yeah this is the packaging you got a nice window on the packaging on the front with uh, some picture of the figure on the front as well as some catchphrases like pulls up and stuff freeze and yeah all around you got some product shots on the sides and on the back you can see she comes with five different faces all of them which are or have uh, possible eyes each and every one of them uh, it comes with a carrot the figure and um, three extra hands, uh, one pair extra and uh, one for holding the carrot and the four additional faces with the one already on the figure and a whole bunch of Japanese stuff that I can't read but yeah, it's not about what's on the box, but what's on the inside of the box. So let me get it open and I'll get right back to it. And this is how the figure come packaged. Uh, on the side here, you have a piece of paper with some instructions. And their next figure uh, which uh, was, what was his name again Nick Wild the Fox I'm not sure if I'll be getting him though but uh, maybe and uh, on the schematics here you can see the locations of the rebel tech joints as well as ball joints the circle with a white circle inside is a ball joint in the upper torso over torso in the hips and in the ankles knees wrists elbow and shoulders as well as the neck you have uh, rebel tech joints and uh, also the ears are connected by rebel tech joints uh, to short, in short, explain what the rebel tech joint is, you can sort of tell by these pictures here. It's a ball hinge with a peg on both sides, so you get the swivel on both sides, and the hinge, so you get the up, down, and in and out movement if you want to. Uh, you also can see the the possible eye system and how to swap out the faces and hands as you can see here and that's it for the instructions everything is uh, 
pretty much self-explanatory explanatory hair. But yeah, now here's the packaging. It's a clamshell. And this is how everything is packaged inside the box. Uh, of course you get the stand with this figure the extra faces and stuff uh, the figure itself is wrapped in plastic now I got to mention that the rebel tech joints on the back uh, with the ears here uh, and the neck the upper and lower torso and uh, I think maybe the hips as well uh, had uh, plastic covers that I have removed earlier but uh, yeah this is the figure I'm gonna put it to the side for a moment uh, you have this uh, this uh, grabber piece with support uh, on both sides so the figure doesn't wobble and you just mount everything together as this and there's the stand and here is the, uh, I think it's the disturbed face, if I can focus as you can see, nice purple eyes, really nicely painted and it's, it, it attaches by three pegs and here you can see the, the movable eye system so that's the disturbed face here is the sad face nicely painted as well Here is the, uh, what should I call it, the charmed face or flirty face. Um, here is her happy grinning face, nicely painted too. And if my massive fingers can get the rest of the pieces out. You get her carrot pen. It's really tiny and barely hold on to it. And you get uh, her hand or paw that can hold it like so if I can hold the carrot I can give you a good look at the hand itself nicely sculpted painted beautifully done and you get uh, left and right open hand painted really nicely as well and sculpted you can see the fur details 
and uh, and that's the accessories and I also would like to mention that in the box you can also remove the sorry you can also remove the back card and use as a backdrop if you want to and now let's have a look at the figure itself and as you can see she is <laughs> very very charming uh, in her police uniform hair and uh, it's a really expressive figure as I mentioned there is a rebel tech joint in the shoulders and in the elbow as well as in the wrist she can get the, her hand all the way into her chest uh, not so much across though but uh, it's good enough and the head is on a revel tech joint uh, ratcheted and the ears can swivel and move around swivel at the uh, neck there there's that much backward arch in the body and about this much forward a little bit gap in the back of the vest there though but uh, it's okay uh, the the hips are on ball joints and they can they move out and forward due to the sculpt tear but she can kick pretty far up and pretty far back and there's a swivel at the ball joint you get about 90 degree bend at the knee that much back at the ankle that much forward and if you rotate the rebel tech joint you get this much pivot in and out and uh, not sure if I mentioned the hands that much in that much out and if you rotate the rebel check joint to get this much up this much down and uh, yeah nice rotation on the body all in all really nicely done and very articulated figure and extremely extremely cute uh, get close up on the sculpt and paint here you can see the fur and the shading on the tip of the ears and the rest of the figure I think I might have a scratch at one of the ears here but uh, I only noticed it under the camera. Uh, blue uniform with dark blue or black vest. Nicely painted and sculpted uh, badge on her chest. The belt is a floating piece that's uh, glued in the back. Also, I have to mention the tail is also on a rebel tech joint up and down and swivel and all that stuff mm. dark blue pants 
and uh, see the knee guards, black lining with uh, some metal paint and you see that screw details. Uh, see her boots as well. Really nicely done figure. The Disney stamp on the under the foot. Uh, the back of the figure. You can see her mace in the pouches. It's beautifully painted and sharp and details. Uh, You see her uh, phone or walkie talkie on the side there. Beautifully done. Now, how you, ex uh, you swap out the faces is uh, pretty easy. You can see the, the seam there. You just pull it apart. And you replace it with uh, whatever face of your choice on the three pegs there. If you can line them up properly. And There you have her with a different face. How can't you buy that smile? <laughs> it's worth more than a dollar, right? And uh, yeah, and the hands are easily swappable too. You just remove the hand and saying easy but it's on camera so it's gonna make a liar out of me but yeah there's the other hand there's her carrot pen so yeah uh, I'd say that uh, stand Hold on a second, I'm going to adjust the camera tiny bit there. As far as the stand goes, I think it's a little bit too large for this particular figure and her tail sort of gets in the way too. Uh, it's usable but uh, as you can see it's hard you can't get her to stand on the base itself so you'll be forced to lean the base or the stand like this and it will take up a lot of shelf space so the stand itself will only work for like uh, in-air poses and stuff like that and uh, you're probably better off with uh, a pose on the directly on the surface like so I can barely I can't lower the camera much more than this but uh, yeah there you have it guys it's the 
Kyoto uh, Disney's Utopia Judy Hopps figure from the animated movie and uh, yeah it's uh, I bought this figure because it was cute uh, I couldn't resist it so uh, uh, I just fell for that cheap one but uh, yeah there you have it guys uh, let me know what uh, you think about it in the comments and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah like you like the video if you did too and uh, I'll catch you on the next one guys bye bye